Hello guys, today I would like to show you how to do a memory upgrade on the Toughbook CF18. So let's let's begin. First of all, we unplug our computer and we remove the battery just in case. Okay, so this is a very important step. Make sure the battery is removed. On the bottom, we can see over here a place when the, where we've got our speaker. We are going to unscrew. We're going to remove the, the four screw that are over here, over here, over here, and over here. This one we do not touch because they are attaching the speaker and we do not need to remove that. So four screw from the corners. I heard that Toughbook is uh, cherry picking about the memory. So I've got a two different one and we are going to test. You have to pry over here. There is a wire so you have to be careful you can unplug it but i don't see a reason so over here i've got a two memories that we are going to test the samsung i 100 percent sure that it will be working because it was recommended and the other one i don't know that company we can we can try that so let's install from what I read on the internet, the maximum memory is one and a half gigabyte. The 520 is on board. I'm not going to close that. I'm going just to rotate our computer. So we've got a half of the gigabyte on board. Okay, let's try to power it on. It looks working. Nope, we've got an error. The extended RAM module fail. So yes, it looks like it's cherry picking. Okay, so let's try to use the Kingston because I'm 100% sure that it will be working. I'm again going to remove the battery. The reason why you would like to remove the battery is because we can accidentally drop a screw inside and make a short on the board and we do not want that. So okay, we are. this is the model number in case you would like to know which kind of memory is 100% working and let's try I'm not going to, to close it because I don't want to waste time if it won't work let's rotate it Put our battery, lock and load it, and let's power it on. Same as previous, but as you can see, it read one and five gigabyte of RAM. So yes, it looks like it's working. Let's see if the windows will boot up, just to make sure. I will stop this, so the windows boot up. Let's open the, the task manager. And let's see how memory do we get. And yes, one and 
half gig gigs of RAM. So yes, our upgrade is working properly. Let's to close it. Okay. Just like before, I'm going to remove the battery, just in safety. Okay, and we can lock this on. This is the way it should go. That element is pressing over here. Like that, and our four screw. The one. Two and three. And the last one. Okay, we are going to put the battery again. The strap go on the bottom. I'm going to lock it. And let's power it on. Let's turn into a tablet. It's booting up, which is a good sign. This is one once again the memory that does not work. So the Kingston was working no problem. I mean Samsung, that was a Samsung memory. And let's see. Let's check. Our task manager. And see the memory. And yes, we've got a 1.5 gigs of RAM. So our upgrade is working and now you know how to replace the memory or upgrade. Thank you for watching and bye bye.